Before we start this homework, let's just make sure that everyone is happy about the idea of um, the different types of power. When we have just an integer power, for example, here we have a power of 4, that literally means the base, which is in this case is 32, multiplied by itself four times. Um, so 32 times 32 times 32 times 32. When we have a negative power, such as here, this is a reciprocal power, which means it's 1 over the base to that power. So, for example, x to the power of negative 5 would be 1 over x to the power of 5. Uh, when we have a fractional power, the numerator is a normal power. So, in this case, this is, means to the power of 8. Uh, the denominator is a root, so this means the fifth root. Sometimes you get all three combined in one. Okay. When we have a negative power on a, on a fraction, um, it means to find the reciprocal fraction, which means to flip the fraction, in essence. Uh, but I will remind you of that as we go through. So, when we've got um, rewriting numbers as a lower as a as a power of a lower base, uh, we can do two things. We can either make the number larger and then find the smaller root, or we can make the number smaller, which is much easier. If you, unless you want to start dealing with 32, 32 to the power of 4, in which case go ahead, I'm going to do it my way. So I take the number, 30 to 32, and I think about what is 32 as a power of 2. So I've got 2, 4, 8, 16, 32. So 2 Sorry, sorry, 32 equals 2 to the power of 5. So if I've got 32 to the power of 4, that's going to be 2 to the power of 5. 2 to the power of 4. Too many 2s in that sentence. Um, and what do we do when we have powers inside and outside a bracket? We multiply them. So this is going to be 2 to the power of uh, 5 times 4, which is 2 to the power of 20. Same thing here. We assume, because it's got a 3 there, that 81 is 3 to the power of something. So 3, 9, 27. The next one is indeed 81. So 81 is 3 to the power of 4. So we're looking at 3 to the power of 4 to the power of 7. We multiply the powers, 28. Okay. I'm not going to do both stages in the rest of these. Oh, I am, because it's negative. Um, oh, it doesn't matter. Negative doesn't matter in this case. So ignore what I just said. Um, so if we think about 25. 25 is 5 to the power of 2. So here, we're going to do 2 times negative 3. Negative 6. Um, 32. Again, we've got power of 2. We already know that 32 is 2 to the power of 5 because we already worked out. Excellent. Uh, so we can remind ourselves of that fact. And this time we're going to multiply these two powers here. Well, 8 over 5 times 5 is 40 over 5, which is just 8. And we simplify as much as you can. And then finally, we've got um, this 4 to the power of blah, blah, blah. First of all, think about it 2. Um, 4 is 2 squared. So we're multiplying these two things here. And again, those 2s will just cancel each other out. If you really wanted to, you could write negative 8 over 2, which of course simplifies to negative 4. Okay, um, continuing on. We've got 27. 27 is 3 to the power of 3. So we're going to do 8 thirds times 3. As we've just said, they cancel each other out nicely. That just gives us 8. 1 seventh to the power of 3. Now, first of all, this is a fraction. It is a reciprocal power, which means we have got a negative. Okay? Uh, 1 over 7. 1 over 7 to the power of what? Well, 1 over 7 is 7 to the power of minus 1. 
So we're going to multiply the minus 1, the negative 1, sorry, and the 3. Negative 1 times 3 is negative 3. Okay, so we've got another 7 one here. Um, 49. 1 over 49, rather. 1 over 49. Okay. Um, so that's going to be 7 to the power of what? Well, it's negative because it's a reciprocal power. It's 1 over and then 49 is squared. Negative 2. So I'm going to multiply this power here by this power here. Negative 4. Um, 9. Right, 1 over... 729. This is something that you um, will be expected to work out quickly in the GCSE because it is a cube number and um, 729 is 9 cubed. 9 times 9 is 81. Times it by 9 again, you get 729. So this is going to be 9 to the power of negative 3 because it's 1 over 9 cubed. Once again, we multiply those two powers negative 12 and finally um, 16 to the power of 3 over 2 about 16 16 is 2 to the power of 4 2 8 2 4 8 16 so we're going to multiply these two powers we're going to do 3 halves times by 4 now this one doesn't cancel out as neatly as others so let's just multiply it so um, for once basically 12 halves which is 6 to the power of 6 right this has become a much more common GCSE question in recent years so I'm really glad that we've got a chance to look at it here we're doing it in the same kind of way that we did before um, so think about 32 okay um, 32 is 2 to the power of what? Well, it's 2 to the power of, we've already worked this out, 2 to the power of 5. Is that 32? No, it's 1 over 32. So because it's reciprocal, that means it must be negative. So it's not going to just be 5, it's going to be negative 5. Okay? Because we already know it's 2, we want to find out what the power is. And in this case, the power is 5, but it's 1 over, so it's negative 5. Same kind of thing here. So remember what I said, if it's a numerator, it's a power. If it's a denominator, it's a root. So we're looking for the third root, the cube root of, um, sorry, that's, ignore what I've just said. Ignore what I've said entirely. We're looking for three. So what relationship has, um, is three to 81? Well, it's smaller, isn't it? Hopefully you noticed that. Oh, which means it's a root not a um, power. Is it the square root? No, because the square root of 81 is 9. But remember what we said? That 81 was 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. So that's 4. So if 81 is 3 to the power of 4, we can go backwards and we can say that 3 is 81 to the power of a quarter. Okay, but this isn't three, this is one third, so it's reciprocal again, which means it's going to be negative, it's going to be the power of negative one quarter, negative one over four, and the relationship there is because three is the quarter root, or the um, fourth root of 81, okay? Got another one, um, 64, 1, 64 and 32. This is where it gets a little bit more complicated because you see we have a fraction here, which means it's got to be a root involved. But 64 isn't the square root or the cube root of 32 and vice versa, which means we need to look for a common root. And both of those are binary numbers, which means they are powers of 2. So we're going to work this right back to 2. First of all, let's focus on that, that 64. Okay, so 64 is um, 2 to the power of 6. Okay, so the, what we're actually looking at here 
is 2 to the power of negative 6 to the power of x. That's a really important first step. If you can't see a direct link between these two numbers, you find their base link. That will either be 2, 3 or 5 usually. They don't tend to go higher than that. Okay, so x is what? Well, now we need to think about 32. Thank goodness for lots of colours. Um, 32 is 2 to the 5. Okay, so... I've got to get from 64 to 32... I've got to go down a power. I've got to divide by 6. To give me 2. I've got to multiply by 5. To give me 30. Sorry, I haven't got to divide by 6. That's ridiculous. I've got to find the 6th root of 64 to get back to 2. And then I've got to find the 5th power of 2 to get me up to 32. But don't forget... Feels like a long time ago, but we mentioned that it was 1 over, which means it's going to be negative 5 over 6, being the power. I didn't explain that one very well. If you want more explanation, please do email me. Um, next one. This one is more a simplifying, so that's not too bad. Uh, this is just using our knowledge of powers. So let's concentrate on the numerator of this fraction first. What do we do when we multiply fractions? Sorry, when we multiply powers, we add them. So we're going to do three quarters, add one third, um, nine twelfths, four twelfths, thirteen twelfths. Okay, that's the power of the numerator. And we've got the denominator, which is twelve. How do we? Um, that's a division, isn't it, basically? It's the numerator divided by the denominator. We're going to do the power of the numerator divided by the power of the denominator. Because we're um, dividing by a fraction, we actually multiply by the reciprocal, which gives me 26 over 12, which simplifies to 13 over 6. <clears throat> okay, I've got loads of room down here for this one. Um, 27 times k to the power of 6 to the power of 2 thirds equals what k to the what? Oh my goodness. Right, let's look at this in two different sections. First of all, let's look at the 27. The 27 has to turn into something. But there aren't any brackets anymore, which means we need to do 27 to the power of 2 thirds. So let's think about that. Remember what I said about are we trying to make the answer smaller first? We could do 27 squared and then find the cube root, or we could find the cube root of 27 and then square it. Let's do that one. So the cube root of 27 is 3. That is one you will be expected to know. So we're going to do 3 squared which is 9. Okay, so 27 to the power of 2 thirds is 9. Now let's have a look at the k. We've got k to the power of 6 to the power of 2 thirds. What do we do when we've got a power inside the brackets and a power outside the brackets? We multiply the powers. 6 times 2 thirds is 12 thirds which we can then simplify to 4. 